what is free speech? Help me understand when people say freedom of speech. And, and I know that I have a mug and a T-shirt probably. Yes, that, that has that, the First that, Amendment that, on yeah. it. Well, free speech is guaranteed under the First Amendment. The First Amendment pri primarily protects us from government intervention. Now, do we have free speech in the workplace, et cetera, et cetera? You better put a big asterisk next to that. Can you go up to your boss and tell your boss what you think of your boss? You probably can, but you could suffer the consequences from it too. Can I say what I want to about the mayor? Yes, I can, and that's protected by the First Amendment. So. A lot of people also tend to think that Whether free speech... Whether you're a journalist or not, you can... Right. You oh, have absolutely. And I think that's one of the beauties of it, too. Who's a journalist is not defined anywhere. We technically are all journalists. And that's one of the positive things about social media. We can report anything we want to. It's just I think we have to be responsible enough only to report something that's true, that's factual. People do lie, though, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. That, that's the big problem. Government free speech, we have the right to criticize government. That's one of the fundamental rights. That right has been defined in several court cases over the years. Uh, New York Times versus Sullivan is one, one that also identified actual malice. If a public official feels they've been harmed in some way, and maybe something said about them isn't true, but it was an honest, honest mistake. We all make mistakes. Right. Recent court case that was just resolved involved Sarah Palin. The case involved something about some maps, congressional districts she published or whatever, that had cross hairs drawn on them. And the New York Times implied that in one of those districts, one of our congressmen was, was shot. Turns that that was erroneous. As soon as they found out it was erroneous, they immediately corrected it. They shouldn't have made the mistake in the first place. It was embarrassing. It was sloppy reporting. But was it actual malice? For a public official to prove actual malice, it must be a reckless disregard. They must prove intent. Mm -hmm. The judge determined that she could not prove it. The jury determined she could not prove it. She's vowed, however, to appeal. Now, it's a, it's a good victory for the press, and I understand that public officials sometimes are embarrassed and, and you know, have some things said about them that's not true. I'm a public official that goes with the job. Yeah. It just goes with the job. The right to criticize government is fundamental. It is. A it criticize could just be personal, not factual. Sure. Oh, I don't like your absolutely. decisions, and sure. I don't like you. Right. That can, I mean, but that can that's happen. freedom of speech, right? Right, exactly. It's freedom of speech. And it doesn't get to the point that it's actually actionable in court unless it's actual malice. Now, a private citizen doesn't have to prove actual malice. You just have to prove your reputation was ruined and it was false. You've got to prove it's false. If it's true, forget it. <laughs> you know, you can say anything you yeah. want to about another person as long as it's true. If they don't like it, I'm sorry. Right. You know? The, what was the old saying, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime or right, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, But the New York Times was out millions of dollars defending that. Had it been successful, one of the big problems would be small media that can't afford to spend thousands and thousands of dollars defending themselves for something that clearly is not actual malice. So what I hear you saying is sometimes mistakes are made. No, oh, oh and, yeah, and and not with the intent of. I'm willing to bet you've made a mistake, and I and I know I've made some. We've all anybody tells you Absolutely. they've never made a mistake is a liar. Ask, ask my students in some sure, of the grading. Make mistakes. <laughs> Oops, I won't go. There. They only tell me about when I do, you know, give them a like ten. Yeah. Instead of a, you know a thousand or something, right. add an yeah. extra zero. I only yeah. hear about the you. bad ones. Sometimes there are honest mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think that the free speech, well, let, let me rephrase this. Is free speech an absolute no. right? No, far from it. You don't have the right, for example, to go in a crowded movie theater and yell fire when there is no fire. You don't have the right to do that. Like a false alarm, Exactly, a false alarm. So there are limitations. If your speech causes harm and it's false, yeah, you got a problem. And like I said, the First Amendment protects you from government censorship, not individual. 
you know, we both work for the university. If the university decide we said something we shouldn't have, they have every right to be upset. Especially if you've signed a code of conduct. Sure, abs well, absolutely. And I guarantee you there's some things I might think, but I would never say to my wife. You know, common sense tells you not to do that. <laughs> if you want to live a little longer, you'll, right, you'll just Right, exactly. Bite your tongue and on I'm that joking, one. okay? <laughs> I better try to get myself out of that one. No, it is not absolute. When it comes to the government, though, it pretty much is absolute, as long as it doesn't amount to malice, that you're doing it intentionally and you know it's false to begin with. If you're doing it just to run, ruin somebody's life, and it's false, and you know it's false, that's another issue. But no, it, it's, you can pretty much tell a government official anything you want to, and I think that's great. And actually, there's a quote here from John Stuart Mill, okay? He was a, a disciple of John Milton. Milton believed in the self-writing process, that everybody who has something to say should be free to say it. Yeah, there are going to be a lot of lies. There's going to be a lot of garbage out there, but the truth ultimately will come to the top. You know, just like cream, it's right. going to rise. I'm not sure I completely agree with that, <laughs> especially with the stuff you see on Facebook. Will the truth ever come out on Facebook? I don't know. I don't know. But here's what Emil said. If all mankind minus one were one opinion and only one person were of the contrary opinion, mankind would be no more justified in silencing that one person than he, if he had the power, would be justified in silencing mankind. One person may have the only truth there is. But if we're for, that one person's forced to be quiet because nobody else believes the truth, truth is lost. We should hear all opinions. But then it depends on us being rational and able to use reason to decide what's true. That's the problem. Do those who go on Facebook use common sense and rational behavior when they post something? You can answer that for yourself. Yeah.